Hi, my name is Ethan Kadaka, and this is my fourth semester here at Madison College. For my Unit 1 assessment topic, I chose Jacques Picard. I chose him because the extremes of the ocean have always fascinated me, and he is on the forefront of the exploration of the place that we know so very little about. In fact, we have a more detailed picture of Mars than we have of the ocean sea floor. With Mars, we have everything mapped out that is about as big as a tennis court, while with the ocean floor, we have only mapped out things that are bigger than three miles long. The ocean is a vast place, but in it, Challenger Deep is the deepest, home to the Pacific Ocean at around 36,200 feet, or 6.86 miles. Only 13 people to date have made it to its depths. It was named after the first HMS Challenger that set sail on the 21st of December 19, or 1872 by the second HMS Challenger that used echo sounders to discover Challenger Deep. Out of 13, the first two to explore Challenger Deep were Don Walsh and Jacques Picard on January 23, 1960 in the submersible Triste. The Triste was weighed down with nine tons of iron shot and had air tanks that could be flooded. At the time, we had no idea if anything could survive at such extreme depths. The pair took, eight, took four hours and 48 minutes to dive down to a depth of 35,810 feet. At this depth, the pressure was almost 17,000 pounds per square inch. In fact, one of the outer windows cracked on the descent. On the way down, Picard recalled hearing cracking noises and seeing foot-long flatfish and even shrimp. This discovery helped to lead to a ban on nuclear waste being dumped into the sea. Once they reached the seafloor, it stirred up so much sediment that they described it as if someone had painted their viewport white. After spending around a half hour on the bottom, they began their journey to the surface, which took them three hours and 17 minutes. This historic trip was the final part in the U.S. Navy's project, Necton. This project was numerous dives that aimed to test how viable manned submersibles were at extreme depths for the use of studying various factors. These factors include pressure, temperature, sound, and sea life. The 1960 dive was not the only defining factor of Jacques Picard's life. A year later, he released an autobiographical account of the project, titled Seven Miles Down. Later on in life, he also established a foundation based in Cully, Switzerland, that aimed for the study and protection of seas and lakes. Unfortunately, Jacques Picard died on November 1, 2008, living to the ripe old age of 86. It took 54 years for the next person to dare to reach the depths of Challenger Deep after Picard and Walsh. In 2012, director James Cameron became the third person to reach Challenger Deep with his solo dive. More recently, in 2020, Kathy Sullivan became the first U.S. woman to walk in space, as well as now the first woman to reach Challenger Deep.